Hello everyone, on today's demo we're going to cover routing in GeoPoint. By default, the map's going to pull up your current location, so if I wanted to create a route near me, I could do that very easily. In my case, I'm planning a trip to Los Angeles, so let me go ahead and change my location. So if I click here on the search, I can type in Los Angeles, it'll start auto-completing that, and, and my location is now changed. So let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. So I just want to work in this area north of Los Angeles. And I'm doing a map view search, so it's going to search the viewable area. And let me go ahead and run a search. As far as adding to my route, I have two options. I can add via the list view here at the bottom. So if I click here, the add all to route, it just add everything that's on the map. So in this case, it'll add about nine accounts. Now the other option is to click on the map pin you can click the Add to Route option. So I'll go ahead and add this to a route. Now another option, we could just draw a polygon. So if I click here on the Draw Polygon feature, um, I can just start drawing something. And maybe I just want to you know, add everything that's along the 405 and up towards Beverly Hills. And we'll go ahead and seal it by clicking on the starting point. And I could just left click on this shape and just click Add to Route. I'll just go ahead and add these to the route. So the polygon itself tells me a lot. Um, you can see there's about this much in annual revenue. I can also click on the Layers tab, kind of get an overview of what I have. Um, so if I turn on the little heat map option, I can drive my heat map by annual revenue. So it looks like I already added the hotspot. So now if I click show markers, see this one right here. So this one has about, oh, looks like a good amount of revenue. So I'll go ahead and add this to the route. All right. So let's go ahead and click on the route tab. So you can see it's lit up here with the number of stops we have on the route. So we'll go ahead and click that. And here, you know, we can get, you know, the route details. And here we can optimize now, other options you have is to drive the route by uh, by scheduled times. This requires additional configuration. For the purpose of this video, we'll just focus on uh, the more traditional uh, distance uh, routing. So let's go ahead and give this a save. Uh, so here we want to set a date. Uh, so we're going to be doing this on the 14th. So I'll click on the 14th and I'll give this a name. I'll call this North LA. And we'll go ahead and give it a save. So just like that, the route's been saved. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, so you can click here, route list, and this will show you your upcoming routes. So we know this one's on the 14th. Now if I click here uh, by month, you'll see this one that I, I had on the first. So this is a pass route, and I can also see uh, the one, the upcoming one I have. All right, well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.